Hi, in this presentation, we are going to learn about network data visualization tools and hacks. My name is Avkash. You can reach me at my Twitter handle at Avkash Jahan, uh, as well as you can ping me directly uh, through LinkedIn. In this presentation, what we are going to talk about, we will see how we can use open source tools to uh, do data visualization for network related data. So what is data analysis? We all know that data analysis is started with data collection. Once we have collected the data, we process that data. We may use data model modeling tools and to process data, analyze it, as well as visualize it. And this is an endless process. You collect data and then you just go back and forth, keep doing same thing again and again until you get the expect expected results. In this presentation, we are going to use Node Excel for Excel as a data collection tool. It's an open source tool. It's available on CodeFlex. Anybody can go ahead and download it. It works with Excel at 2010 or 2013. Once you have installed it, it uh, installs a template which you can use to collect data from different social networks such as Twitter, Facebook, etc. And we can also uh, use Node Excel to data process, means we will process it and we, we will convert that data uh, to GraphML file. And then GraphML file will be used as an input source for Gapy, which is another open source tool. It works, uh, it's available on Linux, Mac, as well as on Windows machine. And you can download it, it's open source free. And then you can use that GraphML tool to uh, give to Gapy so that we can visualize the data within in it the steps are really very simple we will use a one a twitter hashtag to collect the data and then we will use node excel to convert that data from a network data to a graphml file and then we will use gephi to visualize that graphml data okay so the overall again the same thing process it visualize process and collect visualize process collect visualize process is just a one loop which is going through all the time and uh, here is the resources for with regard to node excel which uh, open source you can go code flex and you will be able to install it here i do have ins uh, node excel installed in my machine and uh, once node install uh, uh, node excel is installed and you start the node excel template you will see that node excel uh, menu option is available and it has its own ribbon and in the ribbon you can see there is import and export options import exactly opens a really large menu and where we have a lots of options available to use uh, various net uh, various uh, sources such as you see Flickr, twitter okay in this example what we are going to do we will use twitter search network so here you see the Twitter search network. I'm taking this option, and here I will be searching uh, Hadoop as a word. Okay, and replies to relations. So we have already add an edge for each. We have all those things. We will limit about 1500, which is like limit for it. 1500 people. You see, okay, that's that's its its limit. And I'm not using to any Twitter account. Instead, it's just I'm just using Twitter API which is underneath uh, node excel we will start calling and collecting the data okay it might take about a few seconds uh, and you see they're getting page six seven eight nine it means that progress is there so we can give it a little more time at the right side you will see that there is a documentation too okay yes and you will very soon you will be see that no data is being rendered in this uh, excel spreadsheet you can go ahead and spend some time understand what uh, this uh, and node excel is here i will just give you very short information about it so here you see the edge and vertices so vertices are actually the uh, the elements in the network data and the edges are edges something which connect these two that's why it's network like if a connected to b then a and b are vertices and the connection in between these two is an edge Okay, so you can see here that there is an edge tab, and here is vertex one, vertex two. These two are connecting, and if we go 
and we can look into this data to further length here you will see that is a label that is about 1500 relations we have reached so date second to all the way there are about you can see this data is coming when coming is a tweet and it's a mention so there is a relationship status is also available same thing we have vertices here and in vertices this is a vertices and then what is it's like each uh, overall number of vertices in available so you can see that uh, in this uh, network data what we have collected this is what we have we have so uh, there are total type of labels so when you look into graph you will see and this is the link so this data uh, is available but our main objective here is to visualize this data if you see right side there is a, a document options show graph so just without using anything here here are the menu option available it, like graphics uh, sorry graph visualization algorithms available so very first one is available i will just use show graph and what i will do i will try to move this and uh, to a little more left so this is what you you are really seeing here this data i think it shouldn't be going there okay and this is what we, you are seeing here i it's, it's a totally zoomed up zoomed in so you see here if i try to change this algorithm to this and i say layout again and based on different graph algorithm here is what you are really seeing here these are the nodes and if i try to over uh, my node then my mouse and you can see this is the user merv is available and if i click it you can see that this is what so the arrows are really coming so towards and if i if we try to zoom it out and try to look into further let's see what is there what you are really seeing here that there are some nodes which are total independent and if i try to hover my mouse you are seeing here what and if you see here it's really trying to tweet uh, and it this tweet also has a rotate to our journey so we can actually if we follow this arrow when we mouse over here we can see this is our journey as well so if we come here and you can see there is a circle it means that there is a this one is also also the relationship it sh this our journey is with this loop shows that whatever our journey has tweeted is actually being retweeted as well now if we come here and we can see that this is here and this is also you see that our journey and then if you look into here it's actually exact same thing so this way you can see the relationship between different different networks so if we try to take some independent node here which let's try to see okay here you see so this is independent node and it's actually trying at the rate so at the rate shows that actually is relationship with here and whatever this particular person casting cast cast agna is actually is saying if we come here and it's at this that's why the arrow really shows that relationship the loop really shows that that particular tweet is really retweeted by others so that's the way you see here if we try to click here again and over our mouse you can see here that this is at our journey so it's like retweeted okay that's why versus here if you see So page is about talking about it. So that's you really have here. We can come back and we can change these algorithms and we will see different kind of data. Let's try to for pleasure. Let's try to do circle. You see here. So all the edges are on circle and there are the networks in here. So we have uh, our recurring algorithm and the graph is there. The next step is to just I play with these uh, vertices or nodes you can you know you can click on that left side you can see that the vertices information is available if you try to go a little more deeper and see for example this where we have so this is the vertex 45 we go to edge and we click on same place here you can see the all the collective edges available within the within this uh, 
politicized so this is what you can see the the name is and if you can hover it's gonna be Doug Laney because that's what you are releasing the words and then other sites so um, that's that's where you can dig further and you can spend your own time on this our next step would be to export this uh, network data to a graph camel which we can consume uh, in any graph visualization tool such as Gavin and here is the export and here is say to graph camel and once we, I, I have it and I can just give the name for our content uh, let's try to use uh, Hadoop uh, Twitter data I already had save it save it that's all we really need it for this one so we can come back to our presentation so that's uh, what you have seen we using node excel to work with uh, twitter data and in the next part of the presentation we will open the graph ammo with gaffy and visualize it further